This is a quick video to introduce Rack Pipe. This is a lean framework to quickly build Rack applications on top of LLMs. So there are several popular existing Rack frameworks which help you set up the Rack Pipeline quickly. So why do you need another one? Uh, to understand that, let's, let's look at the generic template pipeline that these frameworks allow you to set up. So you start with the set of documents you have. The first step, you chunk them into small components, small parts, so that you can encode and embed each of these parts into vectors. And then you pick which encoder you're going to use to encode these, uh, these chunks and a vector database to efficiently store these vectors and query them later on. But follow that, uh, you set up the the query pipeline, which is typically a hybrid search with dense and sparse embeddings, and followed by a re-ranker step, which which uh, which uh, re-ranks the set of candidate documents retrieved. Uh, with this set of candidate documents, you 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 pass to the LLM along with a prompt, and the LLM replies back with the desired response the answer to the query. Now, now this, this, this setup, this pipeline is easy setup, but uh, for practical applications, it really works in the first iteration. So, so, so practical rack problems require you to perform several rounds of that iteration before you get the desired results. What do you mean by, what, what, what do you mean by iteration? Uh, so you set up this pipeline, you observe the results, and then uh, you observe that the, the LLM gave, gave a wrong reply, a wrong, uh, you didn't get the desired response. You, you look deeper and figure out that the, the most relevant document is not even there in the list or way down in the list. And so then you figure out how to fix that and, and, and that involves changing some components of this pipeline. And then you rerun the pipeline, observe the errors again, and, and typically, Real applications require you to require several rounds of iteration before you start getting the desired results. Now, now these practical these, these popular frameworks uh, allow you to set up the initial pipeline, but don't really help you iterate quickly uh, to get uh, the desired results. You, you have waste a lot of time. And why 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 is that the case that these frameworks don't help you? Uh, there are a couple of reasons. One, they, they, they most of them have a new and have fragile abstractions. So, for example, if you have to fix something, you, you spend a lot of time fixing the abstraction itself, or you may have to completely abandon it and, 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 and redo things from scratch. Other reason is that the config and the code, the algorithm code, is all mixed up, jumbled up in most of this framework. So, um, a small fix in, in one module often, often spreads across across several modules and you spend a lot of time fixing uh, one particular iteration. And the, the most practical problems you know, ask you to create a variant of, of the basic template that you just saw. Uh, these, uh, there are large number of rag variants depending on the particular problem that, that, that you want to solve and these typically take the form of a laundry list of tricks. Uh, for example, the diagram that you see on right. So there are these laundry list of tricks that, that these frameworks have, and when you face a particular problem, you 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 try one trick after another, uh, and, and if the first trick doesn't work, then you try another one. And you don't know uh, which one to to try next, or uh, so you end up wasting a lot of time just iterating through these tricks. But there's no systematic way of of thinking about the, the errors and, and solutions. On the other side, you hear a lot about vector databases. Vector databases are essential part of the Rack pipeline, uh, but they're way too tied to the low-level details you know, of, of encoding uh, a particular text or image artifact, or different kinds of encoders, different kinds of storage, how to query efficiently, data structures to query efficiently. They, they don't really cater to the end-to-end -end, uh, Rack flow. By end-to-end, -end, I mean all the way from, from building the data uh, model to prompting the model and, and doing prompt engineering. So, so, so what is missing from the ecosystem is is is, is a tool that helps you iterate quickly over the rag, uh, rag pipelines. Rag pipe. The goal is to 
to help you iterate fast from an end-to-end -end pipeline all the way from building the data model, changing the data model uh, to, to you know, changing the prompts or in the intermediate representations of, and, and the bridges. Uh, the goal being that you that it should help you uh, implement every round of iteration very quickly. And the th three key pillars, three key pillars are the, the basis of, of rack pipe, representations, bridges, and merges. So representations are artifacts that that help you bridge the gap between the query and the document. Um, for example, vector embeddings are one particular kind of representation. There can be many others. Bridges are, are links between representations on the query side and, and the document size. These links help you find relevant signals that, that you can compose to uh, build, uh, figure out whether list, uh, what, what are the most relevant set of documents to, to the query. And merges are, are a control flow pipelines. So, so sequential, you can compose uh, sequential uh, modules or, or do things in parallel, and, for example, and get results from two bridges and fuse them in parallel. So th these are the three key pillars on which uh, rack pipe is built. And using these pillars, you can build complex retrievers or, or retrievers in loops, agents, um, which which can give you the desired results. And they build upon uh, the, the usual vector database and, and, and large language model APIs. One 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 good, nice aspect of, of Rackpipe are, are these plugins. For example, you can create uh, for components that are not already in Rackpipe, we intend, we intend to keep it lean. So for, for, for components, for encoders, for example, that are not in Rackpipe, you can easily define plugins uh, and, and use them through the configuration to, uh, uh, to set up the Rackpipe in the way that you want.